Hey guys, today we're going to come back and paint another of the holographic blanks. Now I know the holographics are kind of simple. There's not a whole lot you can do with them because you don't want to lose the holographics, but I bought them, so I want to paint them. And I was looking at a study the other day about colors and how fish perceive colors as we go deeper and which colors are some of the best. Now, I guess in my opinion, I would have said red, but then I kind of like the red stuff. The study said blue. And really, we don't paint a lot of blue patterns. There's just not a lot of blue that we use. But I thought, hey, if that's what they say, I'm willing to try anything. So we're gonna do the holographic, and we're gonna do it in blue. Stick with me. All right, we're gonna do a blue holographic. Now, as always to start, bottom and top, some Createx opaque white, just to give that bottom and top a little coverage. And that's all there is to that. And now we move on to colors. All right, we're gonna use actually two colors of blue for our blue holographic. The first one, we're going to use Createx Transparent Caribbean Blue. Now we're going to use this on the belly. We're going to do a little something on the side. We'll put a little something different on top. But for now, let's just run some right down the belly. That's it. Just cover that. That's all we're going to do. I want to put a little something on the side, but the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to dry this a little bit. So hang on. All right, got that dried a little. Moved over to the helping hand. Gonna take a big old comb here. This one I've used before. As you can see, I kind of messed with it a little bit. I've left it normal here. I put some, I roughed it up here with a Dremel tool just to kind of give me a little bit different effect than I would from the straight one. For today, we're just gonna use the straight side here. It won't really make much difference. And basically, we're just gonna hold that up. We're going to hit it with our light blue, with our Caribbean blue, I guess it is, huh? You roll that over. And let me grab this again. And that's all there is to that. All right, now, I want a little bit different on top. Let me clamp the gun. We'll go again. All right, for the top, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it right here in the helping hands. We don't really need to take it out. We're gonna go something darker on top. And because it's not holographic on top, we can go away from the transparent paints. I'm gonna go pearlized. This is just a pearl blue by Createx. And we're gonna run this right down the back. Need a little more towards the back end back there. There we go. There we go. And see, we can use the pearlized on top. It's not really going to interfere any with our holographics. So blue's supposed to work, they say, huh? Well, I guess if it ever warms up and we ever get the ice off the lakes, we'll find out if it works. But for now, let me get a set of eyes. We'll get a top coat. We'll take a look and see what we got when we're done. Well, there we go, guys. There's our blue holographic. You know, and like I said, I know there's the holographics aren't very complicated. There's not a lot you can do because you don't want to mess up the holographics on the side. But I did want to show you this one, especially in the blue, because I hadn't thought about doing one blue. Maybe you haven't either. Maybe it's worth giving a try. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.